Last time on DMing Ipswich Town football players. One reply. <laughs> Thomas Holy, one of our new goalkeepers from Gillingham. Okay, and he replied saying, Thank you, Alex. See you soon. So yeah, um, <laughs> we're back again with one of these, um, and it's I'm going to change it up a little bit this time. Um, so obviously last time, I did a DMing video, oh, I need to shut my window. <clears throat> so yeah guys, last time I did one of these videos, I DMed, <coughs> <coughs> I DMed Ipswich Town football players, and I got one reply. Thank you Thomas Holy, appreciate it, uh, I really do. And... Two of the other Ipswich Town players. What are you doing? Anyway, now I'm back again with a part two and I put this on my story. So I put that on my story saying that I wanted to do it again basically and this time I'm gonna do it to ex Ipswich Town players. Okay, now, you know, I think that'd be very interesting. So yeah, obviously I put on my story on Instagram. If you don't follow my Instagram by the way, what, what are you doing? Go and follow my Instagram, it's in the description and it's on the screen. Uh, yeah, so. I put that on my story and I basically said suggest people that you'll be to message, suggest what you want me to message them um, and we have had a number of replies so here we go, I'm going to do it right now. So the first person we are going to be messaging is Leon Best, okay they haven't actually said what to put but we'll message him anyway, I'm sure I can think of something and it will be on Instagram so Leon Best, blimey 196,000 followers. Didn't realise he was that popular. Message. So I'm gonna put, <coughs> hi Leon, mate. Um, yeah, let's just put that. Okay, so I've messaged Leon Best saying, hi Leon, mate, Rem remember the good old days at Ipswich? You should come to a game this season. <laughs> basic, mate, just a basic message there. Hopefully he replies. Um, and yeah, let's move on to the next person. So, right, we're <laughs> message Jordan Rhodes and tell him he's a f Oh, I can't say. I, I, first of all, I've had I've tried to find him on Instagram and Twitter. I don't think he's got an account um, on either. So it doesn't look like I can message Jordan Rhodes. Uh, and if I could, oh, look, someone else has put Jordan Rhodes. We hate you. Yeah, I would message him, but you know he's got not. not he, I can't find any of his social media, so we'll leave that one out. Someone's put Paul Mariner. Now he's an ex. He's he's. he's it, oh, God, we go back a few centuries with him, don't we? Um, <laughs> so yeah, Paul Mariner will be the next person. He, so Max ITFC's put Paul Mariner. You're an amazing player. Loved to watch you when I was a kid. So um, we'll put that. Um, however, when he was playing, I wouldn't have been alive. So <laughs> uh, we'll do it anyway. We need to follow Paul Mariner, and we need to give him a message. So I'm going to put hi, Paul. <clears throat> I loved watching right i've just messaged paul mariner i've put hi paul i loved watching you play when i was a kid hope to see you down at portland road next season would love to meet you all right now there you go i've messaged paul mariner so the next person in the club at the moment isn't he? P -p person the next person Grant Ledbetter. Alright, um, so someone's put DM Grant Ledbetter and ask him how the playoff final was. Because obviously, you know, he's playing at Sunderland now, isn't he? So, huh. okay, we'll do it. Um, <coughs> right, okay, I've done it. I've messaged Grant Ledbetter. I've just put, hi Grant, how was the playoff final? Okay, um, yeah, let's see if he replies to that one, shall we? Okay, so someone's put Tommy Smith and ask him what it was like to score in the playoff semi-final. Um, now, 
I'm actually, right, I'm not going to get your hopes up, but when Tommy Smith comes back from the US, because I know he's in the, I know he's in America, I know he plays for like an American team, um, but when he comes back to England, Ipswich, I could, there's a slight chance that I'm going to be recording a, uh, a video with him, because uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but, you know, um, I might be able to sort something out there. Right. Okay, I've messaged Tommy Smith. I've made it sound as nice as possible. Um, well, obviously it's going to be nice, but I've tried to make it sound as casual as possible. But hi, Tommy. Hope you're well. As you may or not know, I'm a huge Town fan, and want to ask a quick question: How did it feel to score in the playoff semi-final against Norwich? Um, now that's the sort of message I can see him replying to. Um, but we'll have to see. I can't promise anything. I don't know what's going to happen. Anyway, next person. Uh, someone's put Tyrone Mings. Um, they haven't said what to put. Alright, I'll message Tyrone Mings and I'm going to, I'll make something up. <coughs> right, I've just messaged Tyrone Mings. I'll put, hi Tyrone, love the days when you played for the town. Hope you're getting on well. Quick question, what do we think of Narage? Norwich, alright, because um, obviously <coughs> we know Tyrone hates Norwich, we saw a tweet, um, it was a while ago, but it was a funny tweet, it was like, I hate Norwich, I can't remember, I can't find the tweet, but I remember seeing a tweet from Tyrone Mings a long time ago, it was like two or three years ago, might have been longer when he actually played for us, but he put a tweet up saying something like, oh, I hate Norwich, so I've asked him what we think of Norwich, um, and hopefully he replies. Um, Daryl Murphy, Daryl Murphy, Daryl Murphy, Daryl Murphy, Daryl Murphy. Oh, someone's put Matt Holland. Would he be able to come back? Okay, let's do it. Um, let's find Matt Holland, shall we? Right, I've just sent Matt Holland a message saying, Hi Matt, remember the good old days when you played for the town? Would you be able to come back? Um, okay, so... So I was just put Gary Lineker. He just is. He just is an ex Ipswich Town player. No, I am joking. Um, <laughs> imagine if we did have Gary Lineker. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? We'll do a couple more because this video will be too long otherwise. <laughs> okay, so we'll do a few more. Connor Flinters put J Tab. Uh, I don't think he has social media, mate. I think he's like. You know, I actually think he like rides horses now instead. So. That's pretty mental, isn't it? He's gone from being a professional footballer to riding horses. Pretty good. Oh, that'd be a good one. Richard Chaplow, and I think he might actually reply, because, I don't know, I've got a feeling he's the sort of guy that would reply, so I'm going to message Chaplow now, and they've said to ask him... <laughs> um, said to ask him what the Watford goal was like. Okay, so I've just messaged Richard Chaplow. Um, I've, put, I've changed up a little bit. I've... I have mentioned the goal at Watford because, you know, it's just, yeah, uh, it was mental. Have a look at this video from, from the game. So, yeah, um, that was when he scored at Watford away. But I've messaged Richard Chaplow on Instagram saying, Hi Richard, hope you're well. I'm a massive Ipswich fan and I want to say, how mental was it when you scored at Watford away a few years ago? Anyway, that is it guys. Um, we have got to wait for the replies now. So it could be a day, it could be a few days, it could be a month, it could be a year. No, I'm joking. Uh, no, in a couple of days I will get the camera back on and I will see who's replied and I'll react to it okay so thank you make sure you do subscribe um leave this video a like and we'll be back in a couple of days all right right we are back guys two <coughs> two days later and we're gonna go on to my instagram messages and we're gonna have a look who's replied now i've seen who's replied i actually got three replies all right decent okay because in my part one where i messaged ipswich town players I only got one reply, and that's from Thomas Holy, so it goes to show that our old players seem to reply more. Anyway, <coughs> we can have a look. I have seen the messages already, but it's pretty crazy how I got um, three replies. Let's have a little look. So, the first reply came from Richard Chaplow. Now, that's pretty mental. Yeah, let's see what he replied. 
So obviously I put, hi Richard, hope you're well. I'm a massive Ipswich fan and want to say how mental it was it when you scored at Watford away a few years ago. Um, and obviously I put, hope you reply, you know, because I wanted him to reply. Because obviously I wanted him to reply and he did. He replied saying, appreciate, appreciate the message and support Alex. Glad I could be part of that memory. Great one for me, which also topped off a short enjoyable time at your club. Hope you get some more moments like that this year. Cheers, Richard. What a nice message. Thank you, Chaplo. Um, what scenes when that goal went in. Unreal, unreal. Um, obviously, I appreciate the reply. Um, so if you do watch this, I'm, I highly doubt you will, but if you do watch this, Chaplo, thank you for the memories. Thank you for the reply on Instagram. Okay, so the next reply was from Paul Mariner. All right, ex town. Um, he's a town legend. All right, he, he, he's a great player. Uh, well, he was back in the day. I don't know if he is now. I don't, I don't know how old he is now. But um, I messaged Mariner saying, "Hi, Paul. I loved watching you play when I was a kid. I wasn't even alive when he was playing." So. Good one, Alex. Well done. Uh, no, obviously that was a that was a suggestion to put that. So, yeah, I, <laughs> that's what I typed. I, put, I loved watching you play when I was a kid. Hope to see you down at Port Road next season. Would love to meet you. And he replied saying, "I'll be at the Bristol Rovers game in December." And I was just like, "Decent, decent." So you know, I carried it on. Love it. I have a YouTube channel and interview different football fans. Would love to get you on the channel. It would also be amazing if you check it out, you know, because I thought Paul Mariner, who is a town legend, I may as well plug my channel. Um, and he just put A. I don't know what that means. A lot of people use that word. A. I think it means yes. Um, and he asked me to send him the link, so I did. Okay, the final reply, the third reply was from Matt Holland. So I put to Matt Holland, Hi Matt, remember the good old days when you played for the town? Would you be able to come back? I didn't think he was going to reply because it was a bit of a... You know, it was a bit of an obvious question. Matt Holland, he's not going to come back, is he? Um, but, you know, good lad. Uh, he, he had a laugh about it and he put, I'd love to, with the thumbs up emoji. Matt Holland, you know what? Announce Matt Holland, guys. We're going to get him back. We just know. Oh. <laughs> so that was a nice reply. Obviously, I was pretty shocked that he replied. So I, I carried on the conversation. I put, uh, love that. Oh, yeah, I, <laughs> I accidentally video called him. So I was like, didn't mean to call you, mate. Just thought I'd say, I have a YouTube channel. Once again, I'm plugging my YouTube. What am I doing? Now, obviously, I said I'd had a YouTube channel because, um, you know, it'd be, it, I, th I just thought it'd be sick if you could check it out. So I basically said that, and I I said I'd love to get you on the channel. Um, and he put, sure, we can do something. I'm having a break at the moment, but when the season gets underway, give me a shout. Get in there. Matt Holland is going to be on the channel, uh, hopefully, when the season starts. So, <laughs> subscribe! So, that is it. Um, three replies, which is, I think that's decent, alright? Um, obviously, I wasn't expecting every single one to reply. Because um, they've got busy lives. And, um, you know, they probably get thousands of DMs. Anyway, that is it. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, this was part two, and I hopefully hopefully you've enjoyed it. I've, I really enjoy doing these videos, so if you want to see a part three, maybe, uh, comment down below saying do a part three. The season is getting closer and closer every single day. Very excited. Um, and also, guys, I am getting closer and closer to 5,000 subscribers, so if you could subscribe, that would really help me out. Every subscriber helps me, you know, that little step closer to reaching my goal. So go and subscribe. That would really help me out. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Like this video and subscribe right now to Alex Griffin. No.